Hi, it's Chris from Stamp Blessings, and I'm excited to be here on this Monday Motivation, and it's all about card front dies. Well, actually, it's the card front spinner. So um, I have some examples that I've made in the past, and I thought, you know what, these are a little bit intimidating, and I wanted to show you how easy it is. So if you like what you see, be sure to leave me a comment or send me an emoji. Facebook and YouTube love the interaction and it just lets them know that, yep, you want to see me. So hi, Melissa. Glad you found me today. Anyway, I'm here with Close to My Heart's Card Front Spinner. And good news is that this die is not retiring, but we have a whole lot of dies in the uh, main catalog that are that are retiring this month. So be sure to check them out and I've been updating my blog and my Facebook page with reminders of what wonderful dies are leaving us. And I have seen a sneak peek of the new catalog and there's some lovely stuff coming but I can tell you that there are things not like these dies that we have right now. So if you like those dies be sure to get them. So this spinner card front is so fun because look at this. I just took it and die cut it and I could stamp little sentiments and this set didn't even coordinate with the spinner card front so you can really create your own type of cards which really is a lot of fun. And I went one step further and I took a circle die and then ended up die cutting out a bigger hole so that my little piggy could fly through over the rainbow. This was a little bit trickier because I had to cover up the mechanism, which I'll get to in just a minute. So to do that, I put these little clouds in here and it did take a little fiddling, but it's so easy and I can't wait to show you how easy it is. So when you order the card front spinner from close to my heart, it comes with great instructions, which I was really thankful for. And it comes with the card front with the two openings and then the piece that you need to make it work. And you'll actually need to cut two of these because these are kind of like a cushion that helps this rotate around. So it's super easy. And again, the instructions are very, very clear. For my first card, I thought I would use this um, Close to My Heart set called Desserts a la Whirl. Now this was in the last uh, supplement, so it was, let's see, we're in August. Um, it was in the May-June catalog, but you can still find it in the online only section. What I like about it is it has this little opening here that coordinates with the card front spinner die. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So in my other card, I just had this opening and that's fine, but this little cloudy effect really adds a little pizzazz. So I cut out some cardstock, or th this is actually pattern paper from Close to My Heart's um, mix and paper pack. And because it's a little bit thin, I went ahead and cut another white cardstock layer so that I could put those two together and make it just a little bit sturdy. Because when I turn that wheel, I don't want it to really bend this paper. So I'm gonna just take some quick glue, really easy, quick. And I don't normally do this if I'm using regular cardstock, but because it was patterned paper, I really wanted to make sure that it was sturdy. And it's just gonna take a minute, but I can set that aside or under a block to let that dry while I go ahead and add this little pattern fun piece. And I really had a hard time deciding which side to use, but I really like this little denim pattern and that goes really good with the wood grain. So I'll go ahead and set that on top. I'm gonna to just pick it up a second too. There we go. And it looks great. I'm gonna put that on there and hold that together. All right, so I was using this Desserts All the World, and I thought, ah, cupcakes are really great. And I like the happy birthday to you sentiment. And I'm gonna set, go ahead and put that on my wheel. So let me go show you a really important tip. We'll set this aside for a few minutes. 
because we'll need that in just a little bit. And I did prepare some cupcakes. I did some paper piecing, which is a lot of fun. And then I colored my cupcakes with colored pencil. And on this one, I used pattern paper from Isabella, the um, Isabella paper pack that's current. But in this one, I just added some little pencil details because I had used solid cardstock and it just looked so plain. So I did a little bit of shading with a colored pencil, pink on pink, and that really made it a lot of fun. So when you cut your circle die, you're gonna wonder, well, where do I have to stamp? How do I get that just right? And I didn't want to fiddle with trying to put it in there and finding a hole, which you can do, but Close to My Heart makes it super easy. They have these little notches cut in there and you're not gonna be able to see it, but you can see my pencil line. And so what I did is I take a straight line and I line up from notch to notch, and then I just take a fine pencil line. I'll want to erase that though before I go ahead and finalize the card. But that allows me to really decide where to go ahead and stamp and I can eyeball it a lot easier. So let's go ahead and work on that happy birthday sentiment. And here you can see the die that I was talking about that I cut out for this. So I love that Close to My Heart coordinates a lot of their stamp sets and their thin cut dies to work across projects. If you know me, you know that I like to get as much use out of things as possible. So I'm going to sell a stamp Happy Birthday to you. And I want to go ahead and get some ink ready. I have my Intense Black, and Intense Black is great if you're going to use some watercolor or um, Copic markers or tri-blend markers. I was thinking that depending on how this card looked, I might add some, just some light watercolor over it if it looked blah, but I think it's gonna look okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to ink up, and I wanna see my two pencil lines, and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp Happy right in the middle there. All right, and then I'll just rotate it. So I'm gonna be looking at these backwards, but that's okay. And here's my foam that'll make things even better. I don't wanna miss stamp, otherwise I'll have to cut another one of these circles. And now I'm gonna stamp birthday right in between those two lines. I'll just keep rotating it. I could go back since the word two is so little it would think it would be fun to add some little hearts on the side of that and now I have the word you so you'll see I'm gonna be short uh, two blocks so I'm gonna have to decide what do I want to put in there and let's see they do have the word celebrate, and that would be fun. I could put celebrate once or twice. So if you're just joining me, I'm glad that you're here. I hope you leave an emoji or a comment to let me know that you're watching. Um, I do come back and I answer all comments or questions, so it's just good to see you here. So I am playing with Close to My Heart's card front spinner die, and we're making a fun happy birthday card. I can always go back and add a couple little hearts to make it a little bit more fun. So now comes the next part. And I have these two extra circles that I had to go ahead and cut. And then I want, I don't know about you, but I have oodles of these little leftover, um, what were these called? Do you guys remember? Are they Brad's or, I don't know. I can't remember what they're called now but um, you will go ahead and you place one through here, one through the center, and then one through the back. So, and as I mentioned, Close to My Heart has these great instructions how to do it. So here they're gonna tell you, attach the disc to the front, and then you wanna uh, attach 3D foam tape to the front disc and attach it to the back side of the front card. 
So let's do that next. And I think that I'm going to do it this way so that goes against. I don't want that popping up on the front of the card. So here is the front of my card. And now you can see how nice that lines up. Now I didn't take the time to erase, so give me just a second because we do want to erase those so that we don't have any marks showing through. I'll be able to go back if I want to stamp some extras, but I think because of for the video so that you're not here too long with me, I'm going to just do this as quick as possible. Perfect. All right, so you can see that my two pieces are together. I have the front circle and the back circle. I have my front card panel, and I did make it a little bit sturdier since I was using pattern paper. I have my card base ready, and that's how quick we can assemble this card. Maybe I should do the, I'll attach these, I think, at the end. So I have a little bit of extra foam tape that I'm going to go ahead now and, um, and put that on. So let's go ahead and add some foam tape to the front disc. Get some scissors that can hold it and I'm gonna put a piece right there and I'll put a piece right here and then I'll also want to have um, some foam on the back side I skipped that on my cards that I made the first time and I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time just to make sure make sure that that's a necessary step that I didn't miss out. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and we're going to go ahead and center and hopefully line everything up properly. So I want to get, let's start with my happy and I can see the little perforated dots and it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to press down and I can see, yep, it's working. Celebrate, celebrate. So in this case, when I do my arrows, the way I stamp this, I'm going to have to tell people to make their, um, they're going to have to go this way. So had I thought it out maybe a little bit better, <clears throat> I would have stamped it so that the happy birthday went, so it would be happy and then birthday like that. But that's okay. I'll just keep adding arrows for that. I don't think people will really realize too much that I messed up. All right, and I think that I'm going to add a little foam on the back of this just to help the card keep its shape. So I don't have to add a lot. I'm just going to add a little piece here and a piece there. I want to make sure that my thing can still spin. And, and Melissa is reminding me that those are called brads. So thanks, Melissa. I appreciate that sometimes I just kind of freeze and I'm like, what is this called? So, I had a lot of computer problems today. I was so frustrated after two hours of trying to get online. I went ahead and went to Best Buy because that was my intent this summer. I worked summer school to get enough money to buy a new computer and today was my breaking point. Um, but then I got to Best Buy and the computer that I wanted wasn't in stock. So I came back home and I continued to fiddle with it and I downloaded upgrades and all of that and it still didn't go. So then I remembered, wait a minute, you have a Costco rebate check. Go ahead and go to Costco. And I went there and the first computer I picked was just the display item. So I had to return my ticket, and then I was able to get a different one for the same price. It's a little bit bigger. It's a 17 inch, so it's actually quite a bit bigger, but um, actually with my bifocals and things like that, I might appreciate that bigger screen si size, we'll see. All right, so here is my card front, how it came together, and I can turn it. Remember, I'm going to have to put that little arrow in and I'll use a fine tip marker for that. But now I wanna finish my cupcakes. And they are just so cute. And I used the Isabella pattern paper for that. And I love how the mix-ins that Close to My Heart has 
they all match. So this is the mix in the July, August, and these match the two paper packs that close to my heart have this month. So that is good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these direct down and then I'll pop up this pink one. And I always have such a hard time coloring frosting. Got me a little bit stressed out, but I like the way these came out. I think maybe if I put a little, maybe some um, like little sequins or something that might kind of pop it up too and make it a little bit more sparkly. So I'm just adding some quick glue because I want these direct down. And then I'll go ahead and pop this one up. And I might just pop it a little bit at a side. I don't know. I like things straight. So because I use glue, I can still move these a little bit. All right, we're almost done with our first card. So you can see that Close to My Heart really makes these interactive cards so easy and so fun to do. If you've never tried our shaker um, kits, they, they're the same thing. So um, yeah, I think maybe some um, some shimmer on the frosting might really pizzazz this up a little bit, but I have a birthday card to mail out this week anyway, and so it's perfect timing for this card. Go ahead and get that last piece of foam, which of course I cannot get off. There we go. And I'll go ahead and put that layer on, and it's lovely. So happy birthday to you. Excellent. And I'm going to come back and put a little marker pin dot for my exclamation mark. And I just love that celebrate and celebrate. So there you go. So we'll make one more card because when I started this, I die cut this really really bright yellow and then I started laying these cupcakes on it and it just gave me the willies so it just made an opportunity to create another card so we'll set this one aside and this time I didn't die cut an extra layer so we'll see how that stands up this is close to my heart's um, card stock so I think it should be okay but we'll see if it if it gets a little warpy I can always um, add another layer and I went ahead and cut this white. Well, when I was looking at this, it just looked so fresh and summery, and it made me think of the Isabella um, lemon stamp set that I was working with last week. And I did get a little bit of glue there, but we'll just keep working on that. So I started to die cut and stamp some of these solid images. And I have a few more because I thought what I'm gonna do is build a black and white and then I think I want to do some paper piecing. And I was worried that I wouldn't match the same color, so that's why I decided to go ahead and paper piece that. So I'll put aside my desserts a la world, but of course this little fancy piece came from there. And then I'm going to pull out my Isabella scrapbooking stamp set that I have been using pretty much every week, I think. And I love that they have the, the option to buy the matching thin cut dies. So if you don't like to fussy cut, you don't have a scan, um, a scanning machine, what are those called, brother scan and cuts, um, then you have the option to get the dies, which is great. So if you haven't seen this before, the first time you use a close to my heart stamp, it's good to season it and you can stamp it in Versamark or just rub it against your skin. I think that that is such a cool option. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I'm on the foam, put these pieces aside, and let's get this stamped. So I'll ink it up with my intense black. And I don't plan on coloring these, but I think that the black will make a really nice backdrop for the pop of yellow and green that I have coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a moment to get this set down. And that came out great. And then I want to get also these two solid flowers yet, just so that I can make a bouquet if I want to. So I'm just going to peel those off. I, these have been already seasoned, so I don't need to do that. And again, I'm just using intense black. And this is going to be a different 
spinner, it's going to be a little bit more elegant instead of the, some of the cutesy looks. And we'll see how that works as a spinner. And this time, I'll have to really pay attention the way I want my words to go. But now you learned from my error, so that's a good thing. All right. Thanks, Cheryl. Cheryl says she loves the cupcake card. I stress about cupcakes. I never know how to color them. I thought the paper piecing would make it a little bit easier. So, all right. So I have my flowers stamped. And there's an extra leaf. And I'm just going to go ahead and build, or lay out, I think, a possible base. So that looks nice. I want it nice and full because this lemon is going to pop on top and we'll pop that up. Maybe I'll need this extra leaf coming out. So that's a little bit what I think that I'm going to do right now, but we'll see as we go along. So I'm just going to do some quick fussy cutting, more paper piecing here today. Um, I think if you're like me, sometimes you go in spurts of using things. We use our new dyes when we first get them, but then maybe we'll stick them aside and kind of forget about it. You need a little bit more time when you're working with these. But once you get an idea, it's just so fun to whip them out and knock out a couple. I mean, you see how quickly this is going for me. And I'm sorry that I was off camera cutting. Not that it matters, but I adjusted my camera a little bit so that you would see more of the mat, but I'm trying to get used to um, seeing where I am under the camera now. Perfect. All right, so there is the leaf and the stem. And again, I thought I was gonna have a hard time matching that bright yellow. So what I did is I just went ahead and I stamped on the card stock. And that way you get the perfect match. So again, I'm just going to quickly fussy cut. And because I'm paper piecing, I want to cut directly on the line. And you could even go a little bit inside There's because you're going to be gluing it back down. And so there we go. And again, this is a super fast card, especially since I'm not doing any coloring. So to, to paper piece it, I'm just going to put a little glue down. goes. I like working with glue because um, it is a little bit forgiving and I can move things around a little bit for a little for just a minute or two before things get too stuck down. Of course sometimes it keeps moving when you're ready for it to be stuck down. So there we go. I do have some tweezers. I think that might help me get that branch lined up just right. There we go. All right. Perfect. I think. Nice. So this is what the effect that I wanted. I wanted to have this nice bold black backdrop. And then I want to go ahead and just pop that on top. Looks like it might need just a little bit more to kind of round out the bouquet. There we go, we want it even. So that looks great. And what I'll go ahead now is just to start applying things. And I think what I wanna do is go ahead and just lift up the corners and put a little glue wherever I can. And here I'm gonna glue that one straight down. I'll glue my leaf. Again, because the glue is a little bit forgiving, I can move things around for just a second yet. And that'll be good because I'll want to do that. All right, and then there we go. So if I really wanted this to pop, I could put it up on foam, but I think I've already got enough dimension going on with my card spinner. So I think that I'm just going to go ahead and place that on there like that. I'll just set this aside to dry with a block while we work on that next spinner sentiment. So again, I've cut two of the smaller circles and now I have this. And I want to really draw those lines to help me make sure that I get my sentiments um, 
perfectly lined up. So I'm lining up the notches. I see that one and I'm just going to draw a light pencil mark. I can rotate it again. And I know this, this is hard for you to see on the screen. It's actually hard for me to see too in the shadows. But I can just kind of go like that and like that. And then I'm going to just come up like this and like this. So if you watched my first card, you saw where I stamped happy birthday in what made sense to me. But then when I started to roll it, it had to go opposite. So I'm going to go ahead and really think about how I'm going to do this. Of course, this time I have a sentiment from a retired hostess reward set and it's called Bible Verses. But I just thought that this would be kind of nice for the inside of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. And um, this time, I guess it really won't matter because it doesn't make, it doesn't matter which way they go. So this is a little sentiment and it says, love the Lord your God with all your, ah, so actually it is going to matter the way we go. So let's go ahead and love the Lord your God. And now I want to turn it this way, right? Let's think about this, Chris. Nope, I want to turn it so that with all your, so now the next one will come in here and it says heart. So this is how we figure it out. You just want to take a moment before you start stamping everything. And these just fit in perfect. I'm so excited about that heart. And my stamp chamois is a little bit dry. I haven't refreshed it from last week, but um, it's not bad. So I want to just make sure that I don't get ink and ruin everything. And the next word is soul. So this is the retired Bible verse set. And then we have mind. So nice. And then now I have again two left over, but I could use this little arrow here. And with close to my heart stamps, because they're so flexible I can just even turn it just a little bit so my straight arrow became a little curve and um, I have these hearts that I think I might wait to stamp those and I put those in pink so we'll do those after the fact all right so there I've come I'm gonna get out my brads thanks Melissa for reminding me and I want to go ahead and feed that one through the back side of my card front, coming around here. So I'm just feeding it through the hole, and all of these holes are already pre cut. And then I just plop the last one. Oh, I don't want to forget my pencil marks. That makes a big difference. So. Again, thanks for leaving comments. I will come back. I'm, I know that I'm not really answering everything as you're posting it. I apologize for that. I'm kind of pretty engrossed in this whole thing, wanting to make sure that I don't make a mistake for you. And now I'm just going to go ahead and peel those open. And now I remember the we have to put the foam on. So I'm gonna build this up and that allows my card to really spin nicely. And just bang, oh, and that piece fell on the floor. So we're gonna just keep on moving. We're moving fast and furious. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off again. Now you've seen me assemble two cards and I think that you'll see how easy it is. And I just wanna, I can come in and I can see again the perforation from that close to my heart puts there makes it so easy. And now my card is going to spin. So it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, 
and then I have the arrow, and then I'm going to stamp in two pink hearts. Well, you saw me how I added the foam on the back of not only just this little spinner, I'm going to go ahead and add it so that you see it. One last time, I want to add it there, but I want this bigger circle to be able to continue to move freely. And then I go ahead and I build up the sides a little bit so that when it gets mailed, it doesn't get too smooshed. And that'll also give that a little protection to that little brad. And the last two little snips of foam. And look at how quick and easy. I think the hardest part of building these is deciding what stamp sets to use and um, and what color paper that you're going to use. So I'm just going to use this really quick. And I want to lay that down so that you can see this card, how beautiful it looks. So this has turned out really elegant, and I love the Bible verse. I think this would be a nice card to send. I like the white background. Um, sometimes I've used pattern paper. On my first two examples here, I actually used a pattern paper for the background, and here I used solid cardstock, and I had a white f uh, card front, and this time really mixed it up, and um, I have a pattern paper card front and a solid white cardstock, and I love how that lemon just pops out like that. And look at how easy it is. Just a little paper piecing. Cheryl says I make it look easing. Well, you don't see me sweating here behind the camera thinking, oh my goodness, I hope this works. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in with me. I My Monday motivation future is going to be a little uncertain. Um, I plan to continue coming with them coming to you with them, but on Monday I start back to school full-time. We're going five days a week full-time, and I'm excited to see the kids again, and I have a new teacher that I'm working with, so that'll be um, fun too. It'll be a lot of work, so we'll see if I'll be coming in in the evenings, or maybe I'll start coming in on a Saturday or a Sunday, but just stay tuned. I'll keep you posted. Well, thanks for tuning in to my Monday motivation. I hope you check out all of Close to My Heart's great thin cut dies. They have a lot for cards. All right. See you later. Have a great week.